Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another unboxing video. In today's video, I got something from Armor Hobbies. Let's open it up, check it out. So by now, hopefully you have watched my toy hunt video from the Great Smoky Mountains G.I. Joe, an action figure show. And I picked this bad boy up while I was there. Uh, in the past, you've seen me go down to Second Chance and I've picked up half tracks and stuff. So the thing that was the most exciting about the Great Smoky Mountains uh, G.I. Joe show was they had kits. Um, they actually had the Dragon uh, Six Scale Sherman kit which the price on it was really, really good. I did pass on it because a couple of reasons. Number one, uh, I talked to a couple of gentlemen there that have actually put them together. And that build is on an average of 30 to 40 hours to build it because it's an actual model kit. You have to take everything off the trees and blah, blah, blah. But I saw this. And I'm like, yes, please. Um, so I'm really excited for this because in my research on a lot of these six scale figures, excuse me, vehicles, there's not a lot of YouTube videos that aren't anywhere from six, seven, eight, nine years old. And I didn't really see a lot of build videos. So I decided that... Uh, I'm going to make a build video. So, first things first, let's get this thing off. And, and you know, the crazy thing about this is this is new old stock, which I find very interesting. Uh, but, yeah, there's not a lot going on on the box. Right there, Armor Hobbies. Um, do have some stuff on the side over here, basically weights. Uh, but that's pretty much it. There's not a lot going on. So I'm going to crack, crack this thing open. And we're going to build this thing. I don't expect there to be, I mean, I don't think this is going to be a really complicated build. I mean, I, I could be wrong, but I, I don't know. So... Big box, very, very big box. All right, let's get this thing opened up. This is this is actually really, really exciting. Okay, okay. It looks like we may have a lot of the stuff actually in the half track. Uh, to give you another little bit of uh, info on this, this is uh, about six kilograms, I think is what it said. Yeah, six kgs. Gross weight, net weight is five kgs. Oh, ooh. Look at this. Um, it will have to be painted. Uh, as you can see, it's a very um, gloss finish. I'm hoping that there's some instructions. Um, okay, this is uh, maybe the back. We got this piece right here. Oh, we got the uh, the tray uh, the roller wheels. Got the front tires right there. We got more of the roller wheels. Got the tools, shovel, uh, steering wheel headlights, uh, tow bar maybe in suspension. There's a lot of pieces to this. I'm, I'm actually pretty, uh, 
pretty impressed. Oh my goodness, look at this. The actual treads have to be put together. <laughs> uh, that's probably part of the treads as well. There's the pins and screws for the treads. Uh, this right here looks like it's the drive wheels. Uh, what is this? This, I do believe, is probably part of the lower chassis. Okay. Uh, not sure what that is. Got some uh, metal rods. Okay. Um, that's a door. And we have assembly instructions. So, uh... A very nice little uh, rounded out package. Um, again, the the body itself or the hull right there. I'm going to, oh, I know what these are. Okay, so we got axles that actually go right there. So, yeah. This is gonna be an interesting build. Um, there's a lot of pieces here, but we do have the assembly instructions. <sighs> I'm halfway wondering, um, cause I'm definitely going to paint it. So parts of me is wondering about if I need to paint it first, but I doubt it. I'll probably just take it back apart and paint it. Um, instructions right there. Not a lot going on. Not a lot going on on the instructions. Uh, steering. Yeah, there's going to be, uh, there's going to be a lot going on with this. So what I'm going to do is I've got to make a decision. Um, I've got to make a decision on putting it together first or painting it. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, this may be more of just an instructional or just let you see. This may be a couple of videos because the more I'm seeing these pieces, the more I'm thinking that I may need to paint it first. So that may be what we do. I would hate to get all of this together and then figure out what to do as far as that goes. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. This is this is a good color. It's just it's just way too shiny. And one of the guys that I talked to, the guy that actually I bought this from, uh, he told me that his he just used gray primer on. Um, so yeah, I tell you what. Let me go over the instructions. Let me make a decision on how I'm going to approach this and I'll be right back. All right. So I have made a decision. Um, this is part one. <laughs> this is going, this is going to have to be a multiple part video. So here's the one that I bought that was already, uh, put together. I picked this up at, um, uh, Toy Lana and, after looking at it, yeah. <laughs> so a lot, all these pieces are gray. And again, there's, there's nothing wrong with the way they look. It's just what I noticed on the inside, there is a gray primer. Uh, the treads or the tracks, they've been painted. Um, so yeah, uh, just an example, like this is all of the tracks. So I'm going to have to like put things together and then figure out the paint. Um, I don't know how far along I can get. I do know I need to get the body uh, painted first. I need, I need to get primer on it. I uh, need to figure out what scheme I'm going with. I'm thinking uh, possibly a desert uh, type scheme. I've already got one that's camouflaged. So I may go with a... Uh, a uh, desert style uh, type paint job. But again, 
this is an impressive kit. There's a lot going on. Um, first time I'm going to be putting tracks together. So I could get, like I said, this may be several videos. Um, I just, I just can't see putting it all together right now because I'd have to take everything back apart. And that just, I don't think that makes sense to be honest with you. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I actually, this, this one here actually came with a set of tracks. So I'm actually going to be using these as an example because it looks like it's just like a matte finish. So I could probably put all the tracks together and paint those. So I'm not going to have to paint everything individually. Um, so yeah, the wheels, they're all gray. So, uh, I definitely have to, uh, I don't think I'll be able to take those off. So I'm gonna have to do some taping there. All of these drive sprockets, uh, as I go through the instructions and, and learn more, uh, a lot of this stuff I may be able to pre-assemble and get close, you know, because all of this moves. I mean, it's, it's movable as a working front end. But this is what it's going to look like uh, when I'm done. But again, it's there's a lot of moving pieces. So I hope you understand. Uh, definitely let me know uh, in the comments if you're okay with my ideal. But like I said, I just can't see putting all of this together and then taking it all back apart. Because I need to look at how the wheels go on. It looks like a lot of these wheels are two pieces. Um, the covers, the tracks. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of pieces. But uh, anyway, guys, that's it for this video. Uh, again, I honestly, when I opened it up, I didn't, or when I bought it, I knew I was going to have to paint it. But I did not realize the amount of assembly work uh, that was involved. There's a lot of pieces here. Uh, just to review, I've already put the body back in the box. But we got this lower section here. We've got what looks like a under undercarriage piece. Uh, looks like we got some seats, maybe some interior pieces. Another interior piece, it looks like. This looks like a tow bar, which I'm going to have to look at that. Because I don't necessarily, this, I don't know where this piece goes. We got uh, the tools. We got two big bags of drive wheels. We got, or excuse me, rollers. Uh, we got drive wheels, treads, hardware, axles. That right there is the windows. Haha, I already see what that is. Uh, we got axles, got a door, back door right there. Axles and all the hardware. So, yeah, this is gonna be fun. This is gonna be fun. I think this will be a nice little project as I start uh, with all of this. Um, I'll be able to figure out the lay of the land a little bit better on this because I'm still trying to figure out some of these pieces. Uh, I do need to order uh, this piece here because I definitely want to put this uh, machine gun and this armor plating on top of it. Um, there is actually a, a slot, but there's no hole. So that must be a, an add-on, but I do like the way this looks on it. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Guys, I hope you really enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments. Again, I apologize. I thought we might be able to do some time lapses and things like that. We'd get this thing built today, but I don't want to rush it. I want to do it right. Uh, and I think this one actually... Okay, there is fenders. Sorry, I just squirreled. Oh, that's what these are. These are the fenders. Okay, okay. Yes. These are the fenders. 
And these pieces here fit on top of the fenders right here. Okay, okay, so that tells me that what I possibly could do is primer the body, go ahead and the fenders, all of that attached to the body, and then that may be the way we approach this. What I may do is concentrate on the body first, get it all primered, get it all done, and blah, 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 and then we'll put that together. Then maybe come back for another video on the treads. Uh, I'm open for suggestions. Leave me some suggestions on how you would like to see this thing done, but I'm definitely going to have to do a lot of painting first. Uh, may do a video on that. I don't know, but let me know in the comments. Uh, also, if this is your first time on my channel, if you enjoy my content, do me a favor. Consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, make sure you got notifications turned on. That way you'll know when I drop videos like this, as well as any other videos related to my channel, live streams, and etc. And as always, please remember, toys, even the ones you have to paint, put together, and assemble, will refresh your soul. And I'll see you next time.